Hey everybody, I just figured I probably should come clean. Many of you have probably seen Liver King out there and he was this fit, amazing looking dude that was telling people it was because of his primal lifestyle and eating liver and animal organs and all this. When we found out later that he was taking a boatload of steroids, okay, so... So I figured, you know, Liver King came clean. I should probably come clean too. And mine's maybe a little different than Liver King's. But I wanted to show you what I eat. It's it's really common for me to be out somewhere and see somebody I know. And, and they'll look at me and say, oh, no, Trainer Joe's here. Don't eat any bread or don't eat anything fried. Uh oh, don't get dessert. You know, and, and we laugh and it's a thing. And it's whatever. And it's like, what do you think I eat? Right? Do you... Because some people are like, man, Joe, man, when I'm 59 and a half like you, I'd love to be fit like you and look like you. In all humility, you know, I appreciate that. So what do you, how do you do it? What do you need to do? So let me show you what I do. Some of you are going to be surprised. Some of you are going to be like, that guy is not healthy. Okay, so <laughs> some of you, seems healthy to me. We're all out there somewhere. I'm going to show you mine. Coming clean. So here's the coffee mug I start with in the morning. This is, I don't know if you can tell, but here's a soft drink bottle. It's a big mug of coffee. Okay, so I start off, sorry coffee haters. I actually have water first. And then I have this big mug of coffee. And here's the shocker. This is a creamer that I like or the Starbucks white chocolate mocha. And I probably put three, at least three servings in here. Along with, now there's coffee obviously, along with I use Truvia. This has some sugar. It's 75% fewer calories, but it's a blend of stevia and sugar. Okay. Oh, Joe, I cannot believe it. And then throughout the day, you know, I have my lunch and dinner, but I want to show you some of the things that might be surprising. One that I'm not extremely proud of, but occasionally I will have a soft drink, a regular Coke, a diet Coke. Um, once or twice a week, may do that and and i realize some of you are, are already t triggered tuning out do you know what's in a diet coke i don't have seven a day like some of you okay it's one or two a week yeah i have it more common than that though i'll have a zevia soft drink which is stevia sweet okay that's going to be the more norm but i'll do the other i look to get my protein wherever i can Sometimes that's in a Oikos Triple Zero yogurt with 15 grams of protein. That's great. But sometimes it's a Chobani regular yogurt that has sugar and fat in it, which this one has neither. And then, and some people get thinking, well, in his 21-day transformation, he doesn't allow these certain things, so they figure I don't eat them. No, I do eat them. Peanut butter. I eat peanut butter. It's real common for me in the morning to have banana and peanut butter my pre-workout. Um, if I'm trying to lose weight, I'm making adjustments. I'm tweaking things, okay? And I'll eat more apples when I'm trying to lose weight. If I'm not and I'm where I want to be, I'm going to be having fewer apples. Last night, about 9 o'clock, I finished off this carton of haagen -Dazs. It's what I want. It sounded good. It's what I like. I'm at a healthy weight. Do you know what you get to eat when you're at a healthy weight? that. I like cashews. I oftentimes will put them in my yogurt. That's what I had this morning. Cashews in my yogurt. Is that a surprise to anybody? I like, I'll confess, I'm kind of a water snob. I like expensive water. Some of you what a waste. You could have just drank it right out of the faucet. It's just as healthy. That's fine. I'm just, I'm coming clean. I like Fancy water, and I cannot lie. Here's something else I like. Sometimes we'll be going somewhere, and I know I'm going to be sitting for a while, and I'm like, you know, I want a little baggie of something to help me stay awake, whether I'm on a long driving trip, or it might even be at church. It doesn't mean I'm not paying attention. It means maybe this helps me pay attention. Like, do you ever drink coffee while you're doing something? So I might have like a little baggie of M&Ms or something like that. And, and, I, and I will admit, if I'm at church, and I've got a little baggie of M&Ms, I'm trying not to let anybody see it. Okay, so coming clean. But if you see me at church, oh, and some of my saltier indulgences, I like these. 
And I and not salty, but I like these chocolate chunk cookies. So you might be thinking, oh, I wish I could eat like Trainer Joe and still be thin. Well, here's the deal. In my mind, there should be no food off limits unless you're allergic to it or it triggers you to binge. Otherwise, I have no food that's off limits to me. How often do I eat certain things? Not very often. A lot of this stuff you see, I eat very little of it, but I allow it. You may or may not be able to do that. The only thing off limits to me, off limits to me, and I think I would like it to be that way for most of you. The only thing off limits would be excess. Too much. Well, how much peanut butter do you get? Well, not too much. How much ice cream do you eat? Not too much. How much of any, how much creamer do you use? Not too much. How do you know if you're consuming excess? This is going to make some of you mad. But here's the deal. The way you know if you're eating excess is if you're overweight. That means you eat excess. But you're like, well, I don't eat half of that stuff you eat. It doesn't matter. If you're overweight, something in there is excessive, and you better find the plan that helps you get rid of that. I have found it for me. I do not eat excessively, and I'm not overweight. Do you say no? If you're thinking, oh, if I ate like you, I'd weigh... I'd weigh way more. Maybe, but here's the deal. Do you say no to the things I say no to throughout the day? Do you know that I'd like more coffee than I drink, but I don't drink it? I don't have seconds. Do you know I would have liked to have eaten, instead of just a third of a container of this last night, I would have liked the whole thing. Do you know that I would like to eat more M&Ms than I do? Do you know that I would like to have more of everything that I have? Rarely do I have second helpings. Did you do the workout that I did yesterday and then the pickleball that I did last night? So you may think, oh, if I did what you did. No, if you did what I do, you'd probably look similar to me. Not exactly, but similar. Will you make the adjustments that I'm willing to make? Am I saying that I have to work as hard as you do to be fit and healthy? I'm not saying that. You may have to work harder but you should be willing to do that. Some of you would not have to work as hard as me. Your body is better equipped. Your body is healthier than mine. And it'd be easier for you to be healthier than I am. The point is, will you be willing to hold food lightly enough to stop having excessive amounts of food so you can be a healthy weight? If you need help finding out how to do that, I'd be happy to help you. Some of you do my programs that I have listed here on YouTube, like lose 100 pounds in six months, and I love that, it's wonderful. But all of you should consider doing my 21-day transformation first to help with the mindset you're going to need to be successful at any weight loss. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, there's a link in the description if you'd like to do my 21-day transformation. And always remember, train your brain and transform your body. Oh, 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 oh,